Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Tornado History. Today we're going over the Rainsville, Alabama EF-5. On April 27, 2011, during the 2011 super outbreak, 15 violent tornadoes touched down, including four EF-5s. This was one of them. The tornado started in the town of Lakeview, then moved northeast parallel to State Route 75. On the path, it went through the communities of Fife, Rainsville, and Silvina. Then it crossed into northern DeKalb County. In the communities of Rainsville and Silvina, there was the damage was awful. The damage path was estimated to be a half mile wide at some points. Here's some damage to a church in Salavina. Some damage to homes, including well-constructed houses, were ripped or pushed off their foundations, and wind rowing of debris is noted. There was extreme damage where a porch, which was a concrete slab, was displaced and broken in half. The Huddle House restaurant in Rainsville was destroyed. A school bus was ripped from its chassis and thrown. One house northeast of Rainsville, which was made out of stone and was well constructed, was pulverized. Debris from the structure was thrown very far, and a supporting cement stone pillar was pulled up from the ground and uh, thrown. Speaking of ground, ground was scoured and trees were debarked, and Salavina, high end EF4 damage was noted due to the houses being blown away. It would have been much EF5 if the house was more, more well constructed. It destroyed seven more, ha seven more houses, and then it reached Fox Mountain, Georgia, where EF1 damage was noted. In total, this tornado killed 25 people and injured countless people. However, this was not the end of the supercell. Then, 30 minutes later, the same supercell produced an EF4 tornado that went through Ringgold, Georgia in southern Tennessee, which killed 20. This was a high-end EF4.